Fish farming is, in fact, one of the most promising forms of food production in the world, not only because of its efficiency in generating high-quality animal protein, but also because of its potential for environmental preservation and because it represents a viable alternative to predatory fishing. However, like any agricultural or livestock practice, it presents challenges that need to be managed with care and scientific basis. Let's detail the main points mentioned and expand the understanding of what this activity involves. Pros of fish farming. One, sustainability. Fish farming has a significant impact on the preservation of marine ecosystems. When we raise fish in a controlled environment, we are able to meet the growing demand for animal protein without depleting natural resources. In traditional fishing, overexploitation causes the decline of marine species, threatening the balance of entire ecosystems. With fish farming, the pressure on these populations decreases, allowing natural stocks to recover. In addition, the practice reduces the accidental capture of other species, bycatch, common in commercial fishing. A positive example is tilapia farming, which replaces the consumption of predatory fish in many markets. Two, quality control. Quality control in fish farming goes beyond what traditional fishing can offer. From birth to sale, the fish are monitored to ensure that they grow in optimal health conditions. This involves maintaining water at controlled levels of oxygen, temperature, pH, and nutrients, as well as providing adequate and medicated food when necessary. This direct control allows fish farmers to predict and solve problems quickly, minimizing losses. Unlike wild fish, which can be exposed to pollutants or toxins in the marine environment, farmed fish are raised in monitored waters, which increases food safety. 3. High Economic Return Fish Farming when well-managed, can be extremely profitable. The growth cycle of many species, such as tilapia, is relatively fast, which allows for constant financial turnover. Furthermore, the demand for fish is high in global and regional markets, especially with the increase in consumption of healthier products. A study by the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, indicates that fish consumption has grown faster than red meat consumption in recent years. Thus, Producers who follow good management practices can achieve high productivity rates and significant financial returns. 4. Species Diversification One of the greatest benefits of fish farming is the flexibility in raising species. In addition to tilapia, which dominates a large part of global production, other species with high commercial value, such as piruku, tambaki, trout, and salmon, can be raised in environments adjusted to meet their specific needs. This allows fish farmers to serve different markets, from ornamental fish to fish for large-scale consumption. Each species has its own particularities in terms of feeding, water temperature, and management, which opens up a wide range of opportunities for diversification. Cons of fish farming 1. Contamination risks Water contamination is one of the main threats to fish farming. When fish density is too high, food waste and excretions can quickly build up, leading to an increase in toxic substances such as ammonia and nitrites, which are harmful to fish. The lack of an efficient filtration system can turn the tank into a hostile environment, which directly affects the growth rate and survival of the fish. To overcome this problem, many farms adopt water recirculation systems, WRS, which constantly clean and oxygenate the water. 2. Mass Diseases Raising fish in high density also increases the risk of disease proliferation, such as bacterial infections and parasites. When a disease strikes a tank with hundreds or thousands of fish, it can quickly decimate the population. To prevent outbreaks, constant monitoring is essential, and many farmers use vaccines and probiotics to strengthen the fish's immune system. Recent studies have shown that the use of probiotic diets helps to improve fish resistance to diseases, reducing the need for antibiotics, and increasing productivity. 3. Local Environmental Impacts Despite being a sustainable solution in many aspects, fish farming can have negative impacts on the local environment if not properly managed. The construction of tanks can cause deforestation and affect local fauna and flora. In addition, if fish farming effluent is released directly into the environment without adequate treatment, 
It can contaminate rivers and lakes with organic waste and excess nutrients, leading to eutrophication, a phenomenon that causes the death of aquatic organisms due to the lack of oxygen in the water. To mitigate these impacts, it is recommended to use effluent treatment systems and choose breeding sites away from environmentally sensitive areas. Success Tips 1. Strict Water Quality Control To ensure the success of fish farming, water quality must be a top priority. Continuous monitoring of factors such as pH, temperature, and dissolved oxygen levels is crucial. Studies show that variations in water quality directly affect the growth and survival of fish. Keeping the water clean and balanced reduces the need for chemical treatments and prevents disease outbreaks. 2. Balanced feeding. Feeding is one of the main factors influencing the success of fish farming. A balanced diet formulated for each species provides faster and healthier growth while reducing feed waste, which can contaminate the water. Research indicates that the use of highly digestible feeds improves feed conversion, meaning that fish make better use of nutrients, growing more with less feed. 3. Disease Prevention Prevention is always better than treatment. Vaccines and probiotics play an important role in modern fish farming, helping to prevent disease outbreaks and keeping fish healthy. Furthermore, maintaining an adequate stocking density and quarantine routines for new batches of fish are essential practices to reduce the risk of epidemics. For site planning, choosing the right location to set up a fish farm is essential for long-term success. Avoiding areas prone to flooding or soil erosion is important, as is ensuring that the site has access to quality water and that the soil is suitable for building tanks. In addition, planning filtration and effluent treatment systems is essential to ensure the sustainability of the activity. Fish farming can be a highly profitable and environmentally sustainable practice, but it requires planning, knowledge, and dedication. With the support of science-proven techniques, it is possible to minimize the challenges and maximize the benefits, transforming this activity into a true source of success. Did you like this content? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, comment below or send an email to vet5minute at gmail.com. See you next time.